tertiary education in local government sectors. Joe Lyons works for Terelga Neighbourhood Learning House a number of, and, and on a number of community projects including the BRI and the LB Digital Shed. Joe is focused on bringing people together to share knowledge and to learn by doing. Welcome and, and Thank you. your friends. And Jane darwin Swain, who works also for Terelga Neighbourhood House on the Serving the Valley project and is also a director of Reactivate. And we also have Kyle, who not only has amazing hair, but is also a really fabulous and very smart human. We'd be lost without him. And we also have Lizzie, who's a great member of our team, and also provided your amazing food today. So if you enjoyed that, you should probably give Lizzie a thumbs up. <laughs> awesome. So thank you very much for having us today. I'll give you that. Um, <laughs> you can escape it if you wish to. It's probably pretty important. I think we all would all agree. Um, so it was very interesting to hear Jesse just then speaking about grants because what we'll be speaking to you today about is crowdfunding. So in regional areas, we often find that there's a little bit of a disconnect between some of the funding that is available for different projects and initiatives and what we in small communities actually want to achieve. So sometimes we're looking for what are other opportunities we have to be able to realise the visions that we have in local areas like Gippsland. Another issue that we often face is there's lots of really amazing, generous local people who want to be able to give to and help get little initiatives and projects up off the ground, but they might not know a direct way to do that. So, we have partnered with Possible and created a local crowdfunding platform. So this is designed to bring together all of the different community projects that are happening for communities right here in Gippsland. So we're launching this today. You are among the first in the whole universe to see this, so feel extremely special. Um, and we're launching it with two projects that we are extremely excited about. Um, we'll show you the videos for those, but just before we kick them off, I'll give you a 30 second recap. So our first project is called Get Chef. We're really passionate about the region that we live in and we want everyone else to be just as excited about Gippsland as we are. So we want both our local people to be really proud of the community that they're a part of and also bring new people into the region to experience everything that Gippsland has to offer. One of our strategies for doing that, and it may be due to the fact that our team is personally extremely obsessed with food, and we probably have one hand on the keyboard and one on the cheese knife at most times, um, we are actually pitting some of our very best Gippsland chefs head to head in what I like to call an epic food battle. We'll also be um, elevating some of our amazing home cooks and giving them the opportunity to get their food onto the stage as well. We also have our second project, which is for Serving the Valley. So as Joe mentioned, that's a project of the VRI Hall and is run by our beautiful Jane. The VRI Hall, if you didn't know, is a project of the Terelgan Neighbourhood Learning House. And what it actually does is pairs people who are seeking jobs in the hospitality industry with the skills they need to hit the ground running but they're looking for a little bit of extra help to be able to support their job seekers to do that. So without any further ado, we'll start the videos. You can see what it's all about. When, when technology decides it wants to participate with us. And I'll get out of the way.
Can you guys hear that? Is it Chelly wrestling? No, not Chelly wrestling. Something on this. Sword on it. No. How do you know me tell this part of the story? Okay, okay. Wait, what about? Quickly, also show you our one for serving the valley. Possibly, hopefully, potentially, but you're all hungry now, right? <laughs> Perfect for afternoon tea. No, that was the same one. 
There you go. Ta da! <laughs> and this is a room full of tech experts. A launch pad is being developed to support local and Trone Valley people who want to start a career in hospitality. Developed by the BRI in Corral, it's a four day intensive workshop designed to give participants what they need to hit the ground running. Serving the Valley Group, community lunches at the BRI week, test out their skills and free the people together around delicious high school meals. And the icing on the cake? Because the course has been designed in consultation with over 50 local hospitality businesses, lots of serving the Valley participants end up getting great local jobs after they finish. Pretty good, huh? So, what's this all about, you ask? Well, So these are examples of the kinds of projects that we'd really like to see up and running through our new Posible platform. So if you have your phone handy and you'd like to have a bit of a look, the address is reactivate.posible.com. You know, because you already want to buy aprons and come to our event, you'll probably pledge immediately. It's probably a good idea. And now I'll hand over to Jo. I just want to tell a little story about the BRI. We fortunately trailed in Neighbourhood House when we had the idea to start something new, like a learning by doing space. Jenny Poon, who's sitting up the back, <laughs> put your hand up, Jenny, thankfully supported the crazy idea. And we had a big hole in the roof in this building. And I spoke with Reactivate Latrobe Valley who were new in town, an RMIT project, and Rose said, if you and you, you know, need help, we'll partner with you and do all the designs, which you can see along the window, and there's more to come on that side. So we crowdfunded $35,000 to start this project, and without that, you wouldn't be sitting here. And all the wonderful things that have come through this space, which over the past two to three years, we've had hundreds of work for the doll participants that are, are amazing people. And if you just turn to the back of the room, those guys have set up today, they will clean up, they support everything we do in this space. There's a lot of things that we do. So I think um, this will be a great platform for people that want to start new things. It, we, it's not jumping through government hoops, excuse all the government people in the room, but it's, it's self-determined funding that is not just about the money but also the social proof. Because really if we hadn't raised the $35,000, it kind of would have been a sign that nobody was really that interested in saving this building that was falling down. But having that $35,000 has made us more attractive to government funders and um, local businesses. I mean, there's too many people to list. John Clabro did all the branding for us. There's just so many people that I could mention that have contributed to this space. But um, yeah, that was what I wanted to share. So I hope that if you have something that you would like to start or try, we're happy to support in lots of ways. Reactivate has gone through a bit of a transition and we're trying new things and, and this is our team now and as much, we're getting lots of support from lots of other organisations as well, but these guys are the people on the ground working. Feel free to talk to any of us about anything you'd like to see. That's it, thank you. Oh, has anyone got any questions? Yes, Jessie. Yeah, 
it's Gippsland. So even though we're reactivate La Trobe Valley, we're we are including the state government definition of La Trobe Valley, which is Bawbaw Baw and Wellington. However, the um, possible platform is for the whole of Gippsland, so all six local government areas. Yep. All our friends are welcome to come and play. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> we, we actually have located it within um, the Sustainable Living Festival um, on purpose to try and leverage some of their marketing as well to try and bring a Melbourne audience down into our, our region. So we apologise. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> it means that between us. Yeah, we can. Actually absolutely. So on the um, site, if I can, no, I can't, sorry, I just want to go back to the original screen. So of it, you can call us, you can send us an email, you can bump into us down the street. But if you just like to get online and do it, which I've been like that, um, on the actual platform, up, yep, the second one, sorry. There's a button you can press about your project. So you fill out your details and submit it to us and then we'll contact you and say, like we might contact you and say, oh, you need, maybe you need a clearer story. And that happens to all of us where we write down what we think sounds easy to understand, but maybe not to anyone else. Or so, sorry, you can't crowdfund for your holiday to Europe. Yeah. I know, I would love to do that too, but community yeah, so project. They have to be aligned to the values, which is community, the region, that sort of stuff. Um, no, I think any project that had a value for... Clear community benefit. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would love to see people want to businesses as well. Okay. Just like normal crowdfunding. But yeah, not for personal. Yeah. yeah. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us.